Welcome! We're so excited to show you around the Purdue School of Science at IUPUI. We're home to nine academic departments and programs, biology, chemistry, computer science, earth sciences, forensic and investigative sciences, math, neuroscience, physics, and psychology. There are four buildings on the east side of campus that hold science classrooms and research labs. The SL building is home to our earth sciences, computer science, and biology departments. Let's take a peek into some of the labs and classroom spaces. This is one of our computer science classrooms. Students take classes in programming, web development, network administration, and so much more. Our graduates emerge with the expertise to develop working solutions for the computing challenges of today and tomorrow. This is Dr. Gabe Filippelli's lab. He studies geochemistry and sedimentology. This particular research project is the Dust360 project. We've asked citizen scientists to send dust samples from their homes, which we're analyzing to determine if they contain dangerous substances, like lead. This earth science lab belongs to Dr. Catherine Macris. Dr. Macris is also a geochemist. She studies the interactions of minerals, melts, and fluids at high temperatures and pressures that help us understand the crustal melting and vaporization caused by asteroid impacts on Earth's surface. She recently appeared on an episode of Space's Deepest Secrets on the Science Channel. This is the greenhouse that sits on the roof of the LD and SL buildings. The greenhouse is cared for by our biology club. Anyone can join the club. Their big fundraising events are plant sales that happen several times a year. Let's cross over into the LD building. The LD building is home to the chemistry, math, physics, and psychology departments, the neuroscience program, and several classrooms. Let's take a peek into one of our lecture halls, located on the bottom level of the LD building. This is a physics class taught by physics department chair, Dr. Andy Gavron. As you can see, even in large classes, our students get to know their faculty members and make connections with one another. This floor also holds several physics labs. Dr. Jing Lu studies biological physics. He and his students are doing research on the development of cutting edge imaging methods. They recently studied the mechanics of cell migration, which can possibly explain how cancer cells generate enough force to move from the primary tumor site through the body and then settle into the bones. There are several psychology labs on the first floor of the LD building. This is Dr. Melissa Sider's lab. Dr. Sider studies impulsivity and risk-taking behaviors. She also earned a Research Excellence Award last year. On the second floor of the LD building, you'll find classrooms and research labs for chemistry and biology. This is one of our math classes taught by Barbara Johnson. Math majors can select concentrations in actuarial science, applied mathematics, applied statistics, and pure math. We also offer a mathematics teaching degree. Let's take a look inside Dr. Roper's biology lab. Dr. Roper studies developmental biology, and his research examines skeletal malformations associated with Down syndrome. Undergraduates are highly encouraged to get involved in research. Students directly admitted into biology can even do research through the first year apprentice program. This is Dr. Frederic Dice's chemistry lab. Dr. Dice is developing electroanalytical platforms using paper and microfluidics to test for ions, pH, opioids, explosives, and bacteria, which ties to both preventative healthcare and forensics. Next, we'll visit the Science and Engineering Laboratory Building, or CELB for short. CELB is one of the newest science buildings and holds several research labs, teaching labs, and many of our forensic and investigative sciences offices. This is the biology teaching lab used for our K101 Concepts of Biology 1 class. This is an introductory course emphasizing the principles of cellular biology, molecular biology, genetics, and plant anatomy. It's a required course for many of our majors. Let's take a look inside Adrian Kelly's Forensic and Investigative Sciences class. This is our forensic microscopy teaching lab. Our forensics program is the only FEPAC accredited program in the state of Indiana. Students have access to state-of-the-art equipment rarely found at other universities. One such piece of equipment is our comparison microscope that allows our students to compare fibers, minerals, and other materials. This is Dr. Marion Logrip's neuroscience research lab. Dr. Logrip studies addiction neuroscience, and her research focuses on how male and female brains differentially adapt to stress and how this impacts the brain's response to alcohol. Neuroscience is a rapidly advancing field addressing the structure and function of the nervous system, and our program has strong ties to the IU School of Medicine and the Stark Neurosciences Research Institute. 
A short walk across the street takes us to the newest science building, Innovation Hall. Innovation Hall is set to open in the spring semester. Science shares the space with the School of Engineering and Technology, along with the School of Informatics. One of the classrooms is a 120-seat active learning space, shaped like a football, in which the faculty member presents from the middle. The chairs swivel to encourage collaboration. Innovation Hall also holds a large lecture space, with additional screens for improved learning. Science students should take advantage of the Pre-Professional and Career Preparation Office, located in Hine Hall. The Preps Office can help students who are interested in attending graduate school or professional school, like medical or dental school. The medical school admission rate for School of Science students is 16% higher than the national average. Preps can also assist students with finding jobs and internships. Finally, many science students take advantage of living in a science community. Freshmen can live on a STEM floor or in the Women in Science House, also called WISH. We hope you've enjoyed this look into some of the classrooms and labs in the School of Science at IUPUI. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Lori Hart, our Associate Director of Undergraduate Enrollment. To learn more about our visit options, check out science.iupui.edu slash visit. You can find more information about our research at science.iupui.edu slash research. We look forward to seeing you on campus soon.